Yo guys, what's going on? It's Zayo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get better at Fortnite. Now this video is going to help all types of different players, from my beginner, to my intermediate, to my advanced players. If you listen to what I got to say in this video, it is sure to help all of you guys out, and it's going to help out guys that want to become pro, or even noobs that just want to become a little bit better at the game, and maybe get a few more wins. Now, today my main topic I want to be talking about guys, is practice. To really get better at any game not just fortnite you need to put in practice if you don't practice you're simply not going to be good that's just how video games are especially a game like fortnite fortnite is such a unique game there's never been games like it in the past for example you could hop onto any call of duty if you play call of duty in the past and you're really good you're probably going to be pretty dang good at any of the new call of duties that come out just because it's pretty much relatively the same game it's just a shooter there's not much mechanics involved and same thing with a lot of different shooters you could just hop on and be pretty darn good right away but fortnite is a different story there's a lot of mechanics from building to editing a bunch of different factors that go into fortnite so when you first hop on to fortnite you're simply not going to be good and that's just a fact but that doesn't mean you should quit now guys what should you be practicing when playing fortnite that is the real question a lot of people think if you just hop into a game and you play all the time you're just going to get better now that is true over time you are going to get better just by hopping into games and just playing and learning on your own but there are ways you can improve how much you're growing and how much you're improving at the game much much faster than just playing now while practicing these techniques i'm about to tell you you do want to be playing the game because you're still going to get that learning experience but you want to spend less time actually playing in matches and public matches stuff like that and more time practicing and dedicating your time to what your weaknesses are now what i mean by that is you really want to see what your weaknesses are in the game now if you know your aiming is your weakness then you want to spend most of your time practicing your aim if editing or building is your weakness then you want to spend most of your time practicing your building or your edits now obviously the best way you could do this is to go into creative mode there's aim courses edit courses and there is just you know you could just free build if you want to practice your building or practice different techniques now i highly recommend for building you practice specific techniques you find out what techniques you want to learn from whether it be from youtube reddit from stuff you've seen from pro players whatever the case may be i would just practice those techniques and then the rest of the building will just come naturally to you and once you learn all the different techniques if you have them down packed you're going to be able to combine techniques and do a bunch of different things without even thinking about it for example i don't do this too much anymore because i'm not really practicing too much to get better anymore i really just play and stream and stuff like that but when i was trying to really get better at the game when i found a new technique i would sit there in creative mode and just practice it over and over and over again until i had it down perfectly would pretty much never mess up and then after that i was able to do it in game every single try without even thinking about it i would be able to do it mid build fight in almost any situation that i needed to and that's really what you want to do if you don't practice these techniques and you just hop into game you're going to die you're gonna mess up you're gonna fall to your death you know a bunch of different things depending on the technique so make sure you go into practice practice the same exact move over and over until you have it down set same thing with edit courses edit courses are really good for improving your edit speed at first uh, but once you become like really fast you know you get to a certain speed doing edit courses will still help I definitely recommend it but there are better ways you can spend your time practicing your edits. For example, for example, guys, when you're in box fights, what a lot of people do is they'll replace the wall, they'll edit, they'll put a ramp to block the guy, and then they'll edit that and shoot him. So what you want to do in creative mode is go in, practice taking a wall, editing the wall, placing a ramp, and editing the ramp as fast as you can. And just keep doing that over and over. If you stair floor people a lot, you know, you want to practice editing your stair floors, so you can fall on their head and shoot them if you put a floor cone over people a lot practice at ed double editing that so you can shoot people in boxes you know whatever the moves you want to do and you know the edits you have to make just do that in creative mode i know editing courses are going to help but if you practice specific moves that you're doing in game all the time that's going to be much more efficient than practicing random edits because look guys you can spend hours and hours a day playing just hopping into pub matches you know winning a lot of games or losing doesn't matter but your time is not being efficiently used to practice if you're really trying to get better you need to practice efficiently 
or else you're pretty much just wasting your time i mean you could get double the work done in half the time hard work is definitely a major factor do not get me wrong with that guys but not only hard work but efficiency is really the key to getting better at the game for example uh, what a lot of pro players do is they play scrim matches every single day whether it be fortnite league of legends any esport now the reason they're doing this is because they want to get efficient practice they can go into pub matches and destroy kids all day right but that's not really going to help them get too much better i mean if they can destroy everyone in the game for the most part and they're just going to keep destroying the same guys over and over and their skill is not really going to increase however if they're versing a bunch of different pro players they're not going to be able to destroy everyone in the whole game every single time so they have to learn they have to adapt at a much higher rate and while they're adapting at a higher rate so are the people they are versing so now both pro players who are fighting each other all the pro players who are practicing with each other are all evolving at a much higher rate than the rest of the fortnite community which in turn boosts all of their skill level at a much higher rate so that's what i'm talking about efficiency guys playing in pubs all day is not going to help you get better if you really want to get better or become a pro then hop into scrim matches play scrims learn hop into creative practice however if you don't want to be a pro player that is completely fine too i'm still going to help you guys get better as well like i said before practice is key practice efficiently you don't need to be doing scrims if you don't want to be a pro player if you just want to get better just keep practicing your builds edits aiming stuff like that see where you lack like i said before wherever is your weakness point that is what you want to target and practice the most all right guys my next tip for you is to learn from your mistakes now you can do this very easily with the replay mode you can go back into your replays and you can go and spectate yourself in third person in a drone free camera and you can see exactly where you went wrong your mistake whatever you did wrong you're going to be able to see it and learn from it every time you die try and learn see what you did wrong everyone who's ever been successful at anything has failed a ton a ton of times it's okay to fail guys people they just give up too easily that's why the best of the best are the people that, who don't give up you need to not give up you need to keep trying and you got to learn from your mistakes if you don't learn from your mistakes you're going to keep doing the same thing over and over again and you're just going to keep on failing however if you t if you sit back think about what you did wrong or you go into replay mode you watch what you did wrong you're gonna learn from your mistakes you're gonna see what you did wrong and then hopefully you're gonna learn from that and you're never gonna do that again and then with all these different failures stacking and stacking and stacking on top of each other eventually you're gonna have so much more knowledge about the game that you're gonna be able to avoid a ton of different opportunities where most people would fail because they make the wrong decision but you know from your past experience don't do those decisions and it's going to lead you to a lot higher chance of success that's another reason why these pro players play scrims for 10 plus hours a day i mean in league of legends i've heard of teams that practice like 14 hours almost every single day with very little days off because they are trying to get in as many failed attempts as they can so they can learn as much as possible every time they die they are trying their best to learn from their mistakes and learn what they could do differently and almost every time they are and it's making them a better player this is through failures guys people think failures don't help you they think if you fail you're losing all the time they think they just think so badly of failing but i'm here to tell you guys failing is a part of life it's a part of video games it's a part of anything you will do and it's okay to fail you just need to learn from it and grow yourself improve yourself all right guys another reason you want to be practicing so much is because you're you need to improve your decision making speed and your reaction speed people who play sports video games things of that nature have a lot faster reaction speed than the average person and that's because you have to make a bunch of different decisions and reactions in very small amount of time and practicing this over and over is just going to improve it in the long run now the average reaction speed of a person is about 0.25 seconds for visual reactions so i wanted to see what mine was and i went on to a reaction speed test a little while ago and i was hitting 0.18 seconds on a click reaction test which is a visual test which is almost half the time of an average human 
Now my average was more along, along the lines of 0.19 seconds, but I was hitting max of like 0.18 seconds. So over time, this is gonna develop. I've been playing video games my whole life and my reaction speed is just a lot faster than the average person. I've also been playing sports my whole life. I was also varsity on my high school teams, every sport that I played, every single season that I played. So I've always been a very big sports guy and a very big video game player my whole life. And as you can tell over time, my reaction speed just got a lot faster and better. So reaction speed is really important in video games, especially Fortnite. You have to make split second decisions without even thinking about it. So try and improve your reactions. Do things quickly and over time it's going to improve. All right, guys, my next tip sounds a little strange at first, but honestly, it might be one of my best tips. And that is take breaks. I know, I know, I said you should be playing all the time and practicing if you really want to get better, but at the same time, if you're really frustrated at the game, if you're not having a good time, if you're playing very poorly, take a break. Even if it's just a 20 minute break, I know when I play personally, if I'm in a really bad mood, like I'm really frustrated at the game, I'm just not playing well. When I keep playing, I just do worse and worse and just keep losing every single match, no matter what. I feel like I play the exact same as when I'm not angry at the game, but clearly I don't because I just straight up lose over and over and over again. But if I just take a 15, 20 minute break, I feel much more fresh, no longer angry at the game at all, and I'm ready to go. When I'm in a good mood, I'm having a lot of fun with the game, I win at least 35% of my matches in pub matches, but when I'm in a bad mood, I literally almost never win. Now, I don't exactly know why this is, but I'm assuming it's just because when you're angry, your mind is a little foggy, it's a little clouded, you're not making the best decisions. So just take that little bit of a break, get yourself refreshed, get back into the swing of things, get your mindset right, and I promise you, you're going to be playing a lot better and your focus is going to be a lot better. Because like I said before, efficiency is the key to getting better. Yes, practicing a lot and hard work is going to help, but efficiency combined with hard work is really what you want to aim for and it is not efficient to play while you're angry and you're making very poor decisions all right guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please hit that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments down below and also tell me if i should make more videos just like this one but to sum it up real quick for you guys that skipped ahead pretty much you want to practice efficiently Practice your weaknesses the most and learn from your mistakes. Those are my three main topics in this video. And like I said, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.